good afternoon everyone and welcome to Live at Bird TV. It's a huge news reaching me in the last half an hour. Sources, uh, very good credible sources on X, formerly known as Twitter, are reporting that Liverpool are going to launch are about to launch a late, late bid in this window with the last week remaining for Napoli's explosive winger. And excuse me for the pronunciation because it is a tricky one. Kavan Nash I mean, that, I mean, sorry, but if anybody can pronounce that well, then then my hat's off to you. But let's just quickly get into this, dive into it. Extre you know, it's extremely amazing news. I've got, I hope we can get this done. Uh, I've been told on my WhatsApp that we're about to launch a £56 million first bid. So let's get into it. Liverpool are plotting, plotting a sensational late window move for long term target. Kavicha Kavachkilia. Karen at Skilia. This, this video is going to be crap based on me saying that. I'm going to try and not say his name, Kavicha. I'll just say for now, from Napoli. Sources have told Football Insider the Merseyside Giants have been in the market for a wide forward for all of this transfer window and are keen to make a marquee signing this summer after missing out on multiple top targets. Georgian international Karen Skilia has been on Liverpool's radar for some time amid doubts over his future at Napoli. However, Liverpool face a major battle to try and prize the Serie A superstar out of Napoli in the next week. The winger has three years to run on his deal at the Diego Maradona Stadium and is valued at more than £70 million by his club. Caretzkevelia was a rare bright spark in Napoli's calamitous Serie A title in uh, defence last season, uh, starting 42 games, scoring 11 goals and providing nine assists. So, if you go on next now, there's... You know, countless people going on about this for a start. If you go, just type in his surname, and I'd love anybody taking a piss on this video to try and say his surname because it's not easy at all. So, Anfield Edition just put Liverpool are considering a sensational late move to sign long term target Kavicha. That's what I'm going to call him for now from Napoli. Uh, and then it says transfer sector Liverpool considering a sensational late move for long term target Kavicha from Napoli. And then it just keeps going down and down. And Peter O'Rourke was the one that first broke the news that I've seen. Liverpool are considering a sensational late window move for long-term target. Kavicha Karatskelia from Napoli. I hope I'm saying it better now. It's a difficult deal to do as Napoli want to keep him, but the Georgian has been on Liverpool's radar for all of the summer. Now I'm hearing that Ozeme's deal has broken down and they were banking on Victor Ozeme. They were banking on getting the funds for him. So now they need the cash. That's what I've heard off WhatsApp. And I've heard we're launching a £52 million bid as we speak. So already people are, you know, the FSG out brigade are pissing on it because this is the fan base that they are. Uh, for a start, I've just stumbled across someone on Twitter now saying, fast forward, Liverpool tried to make a late move for Kovacskilia, but in the end ran out of time. This was looked at as an opportunity signing. In the end, they are very happy with the squad they have. The plan is to spend big next summer. So this is what FSG out is. It's a cancer. It's a toxic, negative part of the fan base. If we lose, we draw FSG out. If we don't sign a player, FSG out. If we sign a player, FSG out. Uh, or we only got him because it was a cheap deal. We only got him because it was a structured payment or we're not going to get him. These people are depressing and that's why I clash with them. So get get uh, subscribing to my channel, Live Bird TV, because we are a positive, positive channel that will always, always go with the truth rather than lies. For example, an FSG outer said to me this morning, Casado was a false, fake bid. Then we will stamp that down 100% because there's genuinely good people at that football club busting the gut to make Liverpool the best possible. Do you think that Richard Hughes doesn't want to start well at Liverpool. Do you think that Michael Edwards doesn't want to win trophies, doesn't want to have their iconic moments in Champions League finals? Do you think that everybody that sweats absolute tears at that club don't want Liverpool to succeed? So if you think that they're just out to take the piss, then you do not know anything. And I've worked at Anfield and I know the people that live in that building and work in that building. They live and breathe the club. So I can guarantee you that every single person wearing a shirt and tie in these meetings are trying to get what's best for Liverpool. So I hope, and I hope this happens, one, because I would rather Liverpool signed a top, top player and that made us better to go and win trophies than I would hope that I'm right, that the deal collapses and that... I'm right, so I can put Twitter up later saying I told you so. So at the end of the day, I really hope this deal goes through and I'm buzzing if we can pull it off. You'll never walk alone.